Welcome back to News 360. It is now time for Mission, and Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid, and the EU. Now, children of school-going age at Lemu Congo in the Sine West District of the Bunu East region do not go to school. Stanley Nibleu, who visited the community, reports the only school serving the community collapsed 10 years ago. The journey to Lemu Congo community was an adventure. Vehicles cannot access the community. Motorcycle is the alternative, but even with that, one needs to possess special skills to be able to meander through the rough and narrow path. The team covered about 40 kilometers journey amidst a sunny weather to assess the level of education and health care in the community. This was after the news team was hinted about the state of education there. Our journey was met with obstacles. <laughs> Residents had to improvise to enable smooth commuting at a point. We finally arrived at Lemu Congo community after two hours of riding. Most parents and their children had left for their various farms at the time of our visit, but the few people present cooperated with the news team. The news team made its way to the school, which was functional a decade ago. More than 100 children used to acquire formal basic education here. But the situation changed after the school serving the scattered communities collapsed. This was after the district education directorate transferred all four teachers posted to the community without any replacement. Uh, I, I was fed up. Imagine 20 years in one community. I was fed up. I applied for a transfer. After I got in the transfer, I left there leaving four teachers. But one year, one year, and the next year, that was, I left there 209. The next year, 210. The four teachers were all transferred without sending a single teacher there. That's called the collapse of the school. And as I now sitting, I will not blame the community. But how do you transfer four teachers without sending a teacher there? Me, I can say that the management transferring teachers to the villages and the teacher refuses and you try to push him to where the teacher lies, causing the village school. Head teacher of the Lemu Roman Catholic School was earlier transferred from the Lemu Congo school after serving for two decades. I become happy when I went there, nobody can speak. I went and opened the school. I become happy when I can say, come, and you also come. You say, yeah, how are you? I say, fine. Oh, where are you going? I, be, I become happy when I see children started speaking English. I started molding them. The village life is started changing small, small. And that prompted me to stay there. I was there because all these problems and all these challenges were there. But I just decided that to brighten the corner in which you are. Children of school going age now wander in the community. The abandoned school building is also fast deteriorating. Three unit apartments built by parents to accommodate teachers had also collapsed. Chief of Lemu Congo is worried. Parents say political promises to revive the school have not yielded results. District education authorities declined comments on camera but assured residents the directorate is working towards reviving the school in the next academic year. Access to health care at Lemu Congo also remains a challenge as the community has been denied of a chips compound. This year alone, three seriously ill patients, including an expectant mother in labor, died after their conditions worsened. Achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 3 and 4 which promotes universal access to education and lifelong learning and health care for all by 2030 would require stakeholders' commitment and resources. And that's how we end Mission this evening. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU.